After staying up and having to watch WrestleMania all night, there's nothing better than diving into the gossip column on Scottish football. In the following morning, when I say morning, it is afternoon, but you know what, I'm wrecked, so let's just dive straight into it. And uh, yeah, I mean, a pretty entertaining weekend. Uh, we did the SPFL Review Show, it's uploaded a few hours ago, so make sure you go check it out. A shorter one than usual, but we had to cram it in. You know, WrestleMania was on, I had to make the big dosh there. Uh, but anyway, Rangers have sent scouts to Greece to take a look at Aris and Honduras winger Luis Palma, according to Greek outlet Sportami. Sportami! Don't know who this guy is, hopefully he's good. Rangers probably, uh, well they need him, if I'm going to be honest, but... um. Um, Celtic boss Ange Postoglu has been installed by well, as one of the favourites to become the next Leicester City manager following the sacking of Brendan Rodgers. Lovely jubbly. Come on, Ange. I don't drive, but I'll carry you. I'll carry you down to fucking Leicester, son. Uh, I made a fit in this yesterday, so if you want to go check it out, go check it out. But yeah, I mean, I think there's more chance of him going to Chelsea than Leicester, so... Aye, uh, Chris Commons has a praise for Rangers' impressive run of form, but predicts his former team, Celtic, will show there's a golfing class in next week's derby. Um, Chris Commons entitled to his own opinion, and you know, Celtic have been the better team this season, so yeah, he's got every right to say that. We'll see, we'll find out. Uh, Tomoka Awata has shown in his first Celtic start yesterday, and manager Ange Postoglu reckons the Japanese midfielder is poised to hit the heights after a patient opening to uh, his career in Scotland. Um, here we go. Uh, John Lundstrom takes aim at sections of the media who claims were too quick to write Tillman to do teammate Tillman off after the Bayern Munich loan. He grabbed two more goals at the weekend. Like, I'm not just saying this an excuse to bury John Lundstrom because you know I, I wish the guy was fucking great, but sadly he's been shite this season. Um, but I can't recall any media writing off Tillman personally, but he'd probably know more than me, <laughs> but it's, I, honestly I can't, so, I mean, most of the time in the media it's all, all praise for Tillman, and that Rangers should sign him up, but it is what it is, uh, and we should sign him up, absolutely. Uh, Federer midfielder Robert Snodgrass refield, he doesn't know what heart side is going to turn up at the moment, and admit they have not found a way to fix it. Oh, Robbie Nielsen, Robbie Nielsen could be a job, troops, very soon. Uh, goalkeeper Kyle Ruse believes Aradine can win the race to thirds, but warns there's a long way to go. There is, you know. I think if Hearts can get out of this wee period they're in, they'll easily get third, but, you know, when I say easily, they're in a shite fucking bit of form and they probably won't. Uh, we were miles off the type of team we want to be, says Hibs midfielder James Jago following Saturday's home defeat to Motherwell, but the Australian believes the club can still push for a European place. Hibs will be hoping that, but kind of just sums it up. I mean, Lee Johnson had a run of form after they won El Sacchio, but look, they've went the fucking shite recently. Three L's on the bounce. And there's no two ways to spin that. Uh, St. John's forward Stevie May admits that defeat to Aberdeen has ended hopes of a top six finish, but insists the remaining games are far from meaningless. Even though, yeah, I don't know, like, I'm hanging about it, a lot of people have been discussing it, but the split fucking sucks, man. It really does. It shouldn't go in there, split. Like, the split kind of works from, like, like I, I think the gimmick of them playing each other, right, that sounds all right, but... The fact that someone in seventh could finish on more points than someone in third is fucking ridiculous, in my opinion. Right? I don't. I don't know what way you could. I don't know what way you could do it. I mean, could you do it where the league does split, but someone in seventh could still finish in the top six, but then the person sick could end up getting relegated? But like, well, how the fuck's it fair? We have to play Rangers and Celtic and Hearts, but. St. Johnson have to play the wee Diddy teams, even though St. Johnson are a Diddy team themselves. But anyway, man, I don't know what way they could fix it, but I see people's problems with it. Um, but yeah, uh, Post Logos fringe men sees chance. Uh, good game for Burnaby. And is that it? That's us, guys. That is us. Rangers linked with him. Ange linked to Leicester. Chris Collins praising his team. John Lundstrom slabbering the media. And the rest of the league are like, well, you know what, we're pish, but there's still a chance for a Europa spot. So anyway, guys, that is it for this video. Fog Football, signing out, and until next time, peace.